All right, hey everybody, what's going on? It's Natalie here, back with another message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today. We're gonna tap in and see what spirit has for this message. Keep in mind, energy can be reversed, time is fluid. Not everything will resonate for everyone out there, so please use your discernment, okay? If you needed a personal, uh, you're still more than welcome to reach out to me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my sister's channel at gig underscore gal 440. All right, let's see what's going on with this energy. Holy Spirit and angels. <clears throat> I'm hearing liberal arts. What is that? Liberal arts. Does it have anything to do with uh, liberals? Uh, Democrats? What's that about? Something about free speech. Free speech. Something about free speech. What is this about? Holy Spirit and angels. We got stress here. Headache, pressure, lack of sleep. Let's see, why is this here? <clears throat> Someone could be stressed out, you could be stressed out. We got luck in the reverse. Someone's stressed out because they're not, they don't have something. They don't have uh, the jackpot, the reward for something. They didn't get the reward for something. They're stressed out because they didn't get it. They didn't win. What is this? Evidence is here. Detection, investigation, and proof. Oh, so someone found something out. And someone's afraid that someone's going to... They're afraid that they're going to be found out? They're afraid of someone finding evidence on them of not being something or not being who they say they are or not having something. We got uh, indulgence, interaction, joy, and friendliness. We got ship, cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progression, and arriving. Give me one more. We got sweetheart in the reverse. This is about a divine masculine leaving somebody, I feel like. Pure, unconditional love and beloved in the reverse. Someone doesn't love anybody anymore, There's, or they don't love somebody anymore. They maybe want wanting to move towards someone else, and whoever is being left they don't have something or they lied and said that they had something we're gonna dig deep into this see what this is talking about well, they're being left we got teddy bear interested in you blooming romance flirting and wanting to date yeah so whoever the disturbance was they're no longer a disturbance yeah someone is evolving from a karmic relationship um they want to go to someone that they feel like is more of a sweetheart to them. Someone isn't. Someone isn't caring. They don't care. <clears throat> High Priestess first with the Queen of Wands. Oh. Um, you make someone look bad. I don't know what that means. Um, they feel like you make them look bad. And they're going crazy. Someone thought that they were going to get the voucher, the ticket, the the document, or the mail, the good news is something. The lottery ticket to wealth. And someone's like, you don't even have it. Someone is showing, or someone is seeing that someone is, they just don't even have it. <clears throat> Eight of Cups reverse. They don't want someone to walk away from them. Three of Pentacles. This could be about work collaboration or someone is stressed that you're not walking away from something that you actually like to do we got the star reverse someone has never walked away from you they want to fix something it may be hopeless though but they want to fix something with you they yeah the emperor is spotted by masculine sagittarius energy yeah they're coming your way Maybe because they lost hope in someone else is what I'm feeling. Or, I don't know, it's kind of giving me opportun opportunistic. Because if this man didn't want someone for what they didn't have, what makes you think they're not going to treat you the same way? And yeah, we have the four of wands with the lovers, though. Knight of wands. It doesn't seem like they're coming towards you for anything. Oh, they are. King of, King of Pentacles reverse. I spoke too soon. Uh, 
I wasn't picking up materialistic at first, but now I am. Be careful with someone coming around you because they're stressed out about finances, okay? And if they're treating someone bad, they're gonna treat you bad. Or if like they're treating you like you're broke, they're gonna, or they're treating someone like they're broke, they're gonna treat you like they're broke, like you're broke when you don't have it. This could be uh, feminine or masculine. Seven of Swords with the Five of Wands reverse. Yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's see what else. We have the tower with the king of pentacles reverse. Yeah. Someone's finances are not okay right now. So either one or two things are happening. You got someone coming around you because they need money. Then you got someone that wants to come around you and they can't because they need money. Let's see. The Empress. Wow. The Empress and the Emperor. So there is a divine feminine, divine masculine relationship out here. It may take some patience. Someone is definitely stressed out about what they're not getting here. So I don't know if this is someone just going through some sort of financial rut or they're trying to control a situation to make someone stay with them with the Magician Reverse, Devil Reverse. Someone's trying to make a Divine Mask and stay with them. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Because they're single or something. Someone's trying to keep someone around them. They're lying, they're making things up. The same thing, like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this or I have this coming in, it never comes in. It's like someone, um, they make this person, this could be a man too doing this, by the way. They like get your hopes up for something to come in for you and it just doesn't come in so it's like they're putting up a facade the star in reverse is like a facade it's like they're not really a healer they're pretending or they're very hopeful but they they don't they're not hopeful like they don't really have faith in what they're doing they're doing it to control someone i feel like also whoever they think that they're playing with is very patient with them so they're like okay so show me right and someone here has nothing to perform they have nothing to give this masculine. So the masculine is like, okay, I don't think that you who are you are who you say you are, eight of pentacles in reverse. But like I said, in the beginning, that's kind of opportunistic, don't you think? So take it how it resonates. It's like it's giving me like um I can see it from both angles. It's my Libra in me. I can see it from both angles. Like it sounds opportun opportunistic, but I feel like also this person here is like um, trying to keep someone around them. What's the uh, Eight of Cups reverse? And it can also be a uh, karmic masculine doing this to you, doing this to a feminine. What's the Eight of Cups reverse? The Knight of Cups. What's the Three of Cups? High Priestess. Someone wants to work together with a High Priestess or someone that um has gifts here you can be very gifted someone wants to apologize to you come straight towards you be more genuine to you okay or come towards a high priestess to work with them yeah the ace of cups something about your gifts something is overflowing for you it's not overflowing somewhere else though what's the star reverse page of cups reverse yeah, someone is like pretending. They're pretending like they can do something. I don't know if this is someone trying to pretend that they can get a business off the ground. I Why would you even tell people that you're about to start a business? Okay, because now you're looking like a fraud. Like you don't know what you're doing. Why would you tell people that you're going to start it? Just start it or just come out with the surprise later when it's already up and running. I don't know why people do this because it makes them look like they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing or like they're 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 um falling off there's a real high priestess here though with three of pentacles and the high priestess and i saw the ace of cups where it actually works for them something here actually works for this person it's not working for someone else here what's the uh temperance they're trying to make something work for them that only works for you 
Yeah, Magician Reverse. They're trying to like manipulate how you're being seen. Throwing magic at how you're being seen or something. I'm also getting like, someone could be like messing with whatever you're working on. Someone is, is messing with something here. What's the Magician Reverse? With Temperance. Uh, the crazy part about it is someone feels like you don't see what they're doing too. Yeah, justice is here. If you're questioning if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you are. But you do have a copycat around you and they're not supposed to be doing what you're doing at all. They're doing it to get a man. There's someone out here that reads tarot just to get a man. Or they, I don't know, because I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care which way the readings go over here. Sometimes they talk about love. Sometimes it's spiritual war. Sometimes it's uh, healing yourself. I don't really care what message I put out as long as it's the truth. But someone out here is trying to tap into tarot. I see it. They're Or either they're listening to it. And they're only doing it to see what a dude is doing. And it's kind of giving me like, um, I don't really feel, I don't know, I just kind of feel bad for, for this person here. I'm not really looking at them like they're, I'm not really looking at this person like they're an enemy for some reason. I just don't see them as an enemy. I see them more as like, oh, poor baby. You have no idea what tarot was about or you have no idea what spirituality is about, do you? about being comfortable in your skin following god doing what you're supposed to be doing asking god hey god what do you want me to do today because he's your he's your boss you know what i mean that's what spirituality is what these people are doing is totally different and they're trying to keep some sort of mask on around them what's the seven of swords we have the uh yeah someone has like no beliefs or something so okay What's the Hierophant Reverse? Knight of Wands. What's the Hierophant Reverse? Knight of Wands energy. We've got the Hangman hey Reverse with the Three of Cups Reverse. Yeah, what the heck? Hierophant Reverse is also cult energy. Someone, uh, that whatever you're doing, there's something that, they're, someone's trying to copy a high priestess but high priestess aren't they supposed to stand alone it's like they don't really need people to work with they're they're working with their guides this person here swears up and down they're a high priestess but they're in groups of three uh three dimensional people 3d people they're in groups and they feel like for some reason, I don't know, maybe they thought there were strength in numbers. Yeah, with the five of wands reverse, there is there is no strength in numbers. Like it's either you do this alone or go home. It's either go hard or go home. You don't you can't have anyone fighting on your side for you when it comes to a spiritual war. You're gonna lose. We have the lovers here with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, there's something here about like um something coming in for you. I try to be careful in my readings when I talk about what's coming in for you because I don't want to put out your guys' business, but I will put out these people's business that are trying to attack you. Someone thought that you weren't chosen. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles with the Lovers. They thought you weren't chosen or something. <laughs> if you're not chosen, how are you doing this by yourself? Don't worry, I'll wait. We got the uh, Lovers here, that's Gemini Energy. How are you doing this by yourself then? You're somebody that wonders every day how you're doing this by yourself. So they're trying to figure out something that you didn't even figure out yet. They don't know how you're doing something. You don't know how you're doing something either, but it's working for you. So everyone is just obsessed with what you're doing or they're like, I want to do that too. I'm going to copy that too. And it's like, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that for everybody. Yeah, look at you. By yourself, Nine of Pentacles. You're literally all by yourself. I just saw 1444 on the clock. So you're definitely chosen. You're definitely in your purpose. 
these people were trying to make you feel like you were not in your purpose or they wanted to like they wanted to like demean what you do by copying you or being a clone of you so that people wouldn't take you seriously like for instance people that just want to be it's like you nothing is like the authentic nothing's like the original copy nothing is like the original and it's you so if someone keeps making copies of you i feel like someone is, is trying to make copies of you or they want to copy you to like demean the real you to like water you down there's a reason why people aren't really into tarot and spirituality because there's a lot of fakes out there that completely uses it for money and abuses it for money and spell work and stuff so people people tend to stray away from it but then there's real ones in there in that mix there's real ones in that mix it's like a needle in the haystack and you're the needle in the haystack you're in it for spiritual purposes real spiritual purposes you're in it to make your ancestors proud you're in it to break generational curses you're you're, you're in it to help people you're in it for the light not the dark but when there's a bunch of copies walking around pretending to be this this or that of course people get confused and they and they stay away from it that's what i'm getting for this but anyway you're chosen or whatever what's the tower the death reverse the nine of pentacles and the six of cups Someone is shocked to see that you're still the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups. You may have grown up. You've grown up. Six of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles, you're grown. What's the Six of uh, Cups with the Nine of Pentacles? The Fool card. I'm hearing you guys never changed. You guys were always the same. What's the uh, King of Pentacles reverse? The Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Reverse? And the Six of Swords. Hold on, because I get too, I get confused when there's too many people. What's the Queen of Wands, Six of Swords, King of Pentacles, Reverse? We have the World card. Someone here wants to close out a cycle, but be with you. Someone may want to travel with you or something, but be careful. This person here, they want to move on to calmer waters and not solve their issues or their problems. They're leaving problems behind and trying to run off into the sunset with you. Unsolved problems that need to be resolved. They don't want to fix them. They just figure that they can just, yeah, there's a devil. They just figure that if they can hide behind you or something, everything will be done and over with and they won't have anything to address. What's the empress? Tell me about the Emperor and the Empress together. Because this is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy. Or if you know for a fact you don't have anyone in your life, this is you balancing your Masculine and Feminine energy very well. Hermit. Yeah, shadow work. Dropping burdens. Knowing your place is what I just heard. Knight of Swords of Earth. Something about knowing your place. It's like... I don't know. I don't want to get into the whole man versus woman battle that the world is into these days. But like, if you're a woman, you do know, you do realize it's hard being a woman, but it's actually easy being a woman too. <laughs> like it's, and then with men, it's like, it may be hard being a man, but there's men around you that make it look easy. So it's not impossible either. So it's like, it's it's all about like what you think is easy and what you think is not easy. Like for instance, my grandfather makes taking care of his family look easy. That man is almost 80 years old and he's still doing it. So I guess I hold men to a higher standard because my grandfather really just, he just makes it look very easy. So I'm just like, well, if he can do it, y'all can do it you know what i mean but that's not realistic you know what i mean some some men are learning they weren't raised right or i don't know they got a lot of trauma things that half the stuff that wasn't even their fault but they have to deal with it or they have to 
become that same with women women need to understand that sometimes you just gotta sit down and shut up and ain't nobody trying to control you but sometimes as women we need to sit down and shut up you know what i mean like but some women don't want to hear that some women feel like you're uh oppressing them or something like that because you told them just be quiet sit down don't just don't talk so much be more you know what i mean like just be more i don't know like because i talk a lot too as a woman but at the same time i don't want to be quiet some things just ain't necessary i don't know something about being in your place or something it's not that hard to uh be in your place as a woman or a man that's why everyone is so confused people are waking up and really questioning am i even a woman or a man like that's how deep it's getting it's like no you just don't know your place <laughs> That's just how I feel about it. And I don't know. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I just feel like people make things harder than what it is. And it could just be really simple. All right. So we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So it looks like you guys pretty much you're responsible. You're standing on your own two feet. You're uh, single. You're distanced from everybody. And people are judging you behind the scenes. Or someone is trying to put judgment upon you or escape judgment. Someone wants to, es wants to be in your energy with you. This is like someone's like, oh, you're traveling around the world. Well, can I travel with you just so they can escape their problems? Maybe half the, half of their problems had to do with attacking you or betraying you too. So this is not even someone like, this is someone that wants to escape their problems with you. But I don't feel like this is in a good way. Or just be cautious. Let, let's just say that. Because I can't tell you what to do. But just be careful. Okay? Because you can hang out whoever you want to hang out. You can take people on trips. You can do whatever you want to do. You're grown. Nine of Pentacles means you're grown. So. We do have the Ace of Cups here, though, which is a good sign. Ace of Swords reverse, though. I don't feel like someone's ready. Someone's not communicating or anything. Nine of Wands. Eight of Cups reverse. We got the hangman here. So we got a lot of Pisces energy out here. Aries too. Yeah, someone's trying to escape their judgment. They cannot escape this. They have to deal with this. They have to deal with whatever they're doing. They have to heal from something here. They can't just cut corners. Man or woman. Because I don't do the man versus woman debate. I don't do that. You're never going to win that battle. Five of Pentacles is here. If someone is disconnected from you out in the cold they feel like they cannot come with you what's the judgment reverse judgment reverse to me is also like slander slander they put wrong judgment or they uh try to judge you they just judge you terribly and poorly and they want to escape this they don't want to be in this energy yeah so here's the energy of offering something now this is like someone saying, this is all I got. Here you go. Yeah, just to make peace. But they're really stuck here. Yeah, this person. Yeah, three cups of verse. Uh, they got a lot of people mad at you too, if you accept this. You do not, I don't know about y'all. But I don't want to be in a relationship that attracts haters. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, power couples tend to have haters, but the, this these haters came from someone here talking bad about you. This is not, this is like someone talking bad about you or something like that. And then they come back around and everyone is mad at them for coming back around to you. Even if they have good intentions, you know what I mean? Like even if they wanted to have good intentions, they can't have good intentions because they spent a long time slandering you. What's the uh, Ace of Swords reverse? Slandering you or misjudging you? Three of Wands reverse. We got the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups. I'm also getting like you're kind of letting people be in denial. You're not fighting for anything. This week I've been picking up the energy of like you guys are just letting it go. You don't care. 
What's the Eight of Cups reverse? And it's none of these people's business of what you're doing next. I'm hearing like you guys are in the midst of like you're in the eye of the hurricane right now. You're in the middle of a storm. You don't even realize it. There's a lot of things going on around you, but it's not touching you. Strength reverse with the chariot. Empress reverse with the emperor. There's a woman out here, um, maybe getting left. This emperor is moving forward. There's a female here trying to keep a woman stuck to him or stuck to her. I don't know who this is. I don't know why I'm picking this energy up. You guys probably don't know who this is. A lot of people have been spiritually attacking you lately, but they don't want to come to your face or call you out or say anything to you or even have an adult conversation with you because that means the magic that they're doing on you is not going to work if they have an adult conversation with you. But whatever. What's the hangman? King of Cups reverse. Be careful of that fool trying to travel with you, is what I just heard, though. But like I said, do what you want. It uh swords reverse with the King of Cups reverse. He's trying to be free like you. Yeah, this person smear campaigned you or something, or they try to ruin your reputation. But they're delusional because you're still getting blessings behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know. What to, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> like this energy here, this is not something that the collector needs to worry about or care about. I don't even care if you don't watch this because this information is not important to you because these are just people playing in your energy. <clears throat> Someone is just like, if you're a, a tarot reader, someone is like, I'll just do what they do. It's, that's not, that's not, it's, it's girl stuff. We have chasing, pursue toxicity and resilience. It's a lot of chasing going on. There's a masculine chasing you and she's chasing the masculine. It's like, and she thought, oh, I'll just copy them. I'll just pretend to be spiritual. Same thing with money. Oh my God, they're getting paid for doing that. I'll do that too and get paid too. Then I can look like, it's not that deep. The dog was annoying me. It's not that deep though. Time. Waiting cycles and moments. Someone feels like you're coming back around to them and you're not. Someone is waiting for someone to come back around to them. Someone wasted a lot of time. Someone may even got somebody pregnant too. Confusion. Someone's trying to confuse someone with a pregnancy. Tell them, oh, I'm pregnant by you. They're really not. They're literally trying everything to keep this man. Perspective is here. Yeah, so this man is like, yeah, I don't want to deal with this. Better off, happiness, clear space, farewells, leave behind, and closure. Someone could be like going back to their family or going towards someone that they want to have a family with. So, I don't know if someone's going back to their family, but... Could be you. Yeah, we got silence here. Frozen, no words, and stonewall. Someone doesn't even know if you want them back. Because the way that you're acting... You're not sexually attracted to them or something. I'm also getting energy where like you're basically letting them do. It's like whatever they're not getting from you, they're getting from other people. And you're fine with that. This is an energy like that. You're good with it because at least you're not mixing. I don't know. It looks like sexual energy. At least you're not mixing energies with them. You're not bothered. So this person is chasing you because you don't you you giving you're giving them something that other people throw at you're not giving them something that other people throw at them. That's what I'm getting for this. That's the only reason why they're chasing you though. Do not feel special. I swear as soon as they get it, they're throwing you to the side again. Keep moving forward, keep being focused. 
as soon as they get it, they're gonna throw you to the side again for their family or this is someone that will always cheat on their family. Okay, expression, express your truth. Yeah, exactly. Then we have inner secrets. All of you is worthy. Then we have break away, grow and expand with life. So I feel like you guys are like traveling or something or you're going somewhere. There's someone out here trying to like project onto you that you're not worthy of something. You're not doing something right. But um, the proof is in the pudding because you're completely doing something all on your own and you're not getting any help. I feel like this person, this person is playing with God for one. They're playing with spirituality. They're, um, they're, I don't know if they're attached to witches or they're talking to witches, but they're definitely doing things like, oh, my ex is a tarot reader, right? And they'll be like, oh my God, my ex is a tarot reader. She's so, you know what I mean? Like they'll big you up and, um. And it could be anything. It could be anything. Oh my God, my ex does hair. You know what I mean? Or my ex, she does really good nails. Or like my ex, she does something very talented or something like that. So of course, anyone that they date are going to be like, oh my God, I, I need to go buy me some tarot cards. I need to go to esthetician school. I need to go to cosmetology school. It's like, but they're doing it for a man. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. They're not doing it because they want to be better or to better themselves or to help people even. They're doing it for like some sort of money or they want the money for the man. It's like someone is like, they'll give themselves to this man. <laughs> be careful being this way. Just because you're a high priestess doesn't mean you can't be used. Is also what I'm getting. Someone feels like if they have the gifts, they can't be used. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Especially when you're not using your discernment. I feel like someone puts you on a pedestal, but to attract other women that's what i'm getting for this what else am i getting for this i just heard something else and it went away it's like it th these people are playing with god though they're playing with spirituality they're in they're in the wrong territory they're in the wrong workplace field it's like what are you what are you doing working here you don't like someone here is, i don't know if this is a tarot reader but they're trying to pull cards they don't know what they're doing they're projecting their own life onto other people. They're, uh, I don't know. I don't know how they're doing it or what they're doing, but they need to stop because it's obvious that they're doing it for a man or they're doing it because this man's ex did it. It's obvious. Wait, what? Like, oh, that's, co that's coincidence. That's such a coincidence that something as taboo as tarot, um, this man this man met someone just like his ex that does tarot and tarot is just so taboo that that's just such a coincidence right no it's not a coincidence oh you do tarot too just like his ex oh my god that is so that is such a coincidence that's so normal no it's not normal it's a coincidence but it's a setup <laughs> and the masculine has something to do with this too all right, guys, this is your reading. Hope this resonates for you. If it does, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.